Hey you scallywags! Today we're having a look at Warhammer 40k's Space Marines, Ultramarines, Primaris, Librarian by Joy Toy. Alright. Oh. Anyway, arm goes right. Then a bend. Shut up and sit down. Here's the box that the figure comes in. A bit bigger than it needs to be really, but you'll find out with all the 40k releases. I have been uh, sitting on this figure for quite a bit, but I really wanted to just spend a bit of time, get my thoughts, or gather my thoughts, to give my final unbiased opinion. Here's the figure, and as you can see, the uh, box is a bit bigger than it should be. Artwork is still like, but let's take a look at the figure. So I wanted to wait a bit before I actually did a review of this figure, as I wanted to give it a fair go and let the hype I had for it die down and any disappointment really. There have been highs and lows, but let's start with the positives. This figure is a great looking figure looks very nice paint apps are great has layers like this little bit of plastic bit there and intricate details keys and a book there the malleable uh, skirtings pipes etc the backpack removable backpack here there's all sorts going on that make this look amazing the sword here is also great looking. Again, really nice details. I like the way uh, it pops with the colour. And I can store it here on the back, which I don't think it's supposed to go there, but I think works rather well. You can simply put it in the holding hand, like so. Now, as for the negatives, We'll go through that whew, as we go along. So articulation with the head, uh, minimal movement. It does move, but it is a bit difficult within this bit here at the top. Arm here. Oh, negative number one, I suppose. And that happens too often. Just plugs back in there. And that moves about, so about there. Alright. So, yeah, this arm does have a butterfly joint. Which is a bit ugly from the back. Unsightly. And this does come off all the time. Right, with the uh, that off, it does twist. And there is a double jointed elbow there. Which works well when it's not popping off the body. So the way that is, it just doesn't stick on. It's just keeps coming off whenever I want to like pose it really. This hand, arm. See, this always pops off too. And it's not just mine either, I've seen it happen to other people too. I've tried to customise it to make it a bit less shallow, but it's not working. It stays in for a little bit, it still pops out. Anyway, arm goes right. There's a twist there, then a bend, and out it comes. So here I actually super glued that elbow bit on there. That arm's gone. Anyway, I've started, so I'll finish. Uh, rotation ball thing around there. Jean Claude! <laughs> Bollocks. Leg can go up there. Hindered with this skirting around it. There's a thigh twist. 
can bend the knees, put the skirts again in the way. My accessory bits here actually stay on better than what I've seen from others online. Just remove this cape thing and you can see it's all soft. Uh, look, there is detail there, some scribble. Pop this one off. Take that skirt off. And we'll see here how this works. This is terrible. Look, that bit there is really rubbery. Don't know how that's supposed to hold the legs together. Watch, put this together. And you see that it's a very wonky figure. Just, yeah, it's terrible. Compared to what they've done with the the other Space Marines, this is a joke, look. Look at that, the top bit there, it's just all wonky. Let's see what he's like with both arms on. See, some of the other upcoming releases have got stands. And if this is the base buck for him, um, I'm not impressed. Seems like the with this one, it's the uh, other bits that hold it together. Look at that terrible crotch piece there. Well, uh, doesn't look impressive whatsoever without his uh, cape and skirt stuff on. Got a butterfly joint. Yeah, definitely looks terrible from the back though. Very wonky. Well, at least you can see the bend there. Yeah, all the other bits move as, as they, they should, really. Very poorly designed. The way the accessories plug into the belt of the skirt is not ideal. Yeah. And this seemingly just holds everything together, really. And it shouldn't. Who would have thought a Primaris Librarian skirt would be so integral? There book will come off every now and then if you're lucky they'll stay on but yeah that all the keys my keys haven't actually come off they don't pop off that easily this just go back in the back there's just so much going on with this figure that it's like a, a grenade in the hand especially the arms this pauldron bit works really well on this side, like it doesn't come off. Whereas on the other side, I have no idea why that is. It just likes to pop off without permission. Kind of have to push it in. So that is actually holding that cape it in so if you just got him standing stationary yeah, it's not so bad here's his head that he comes with when you open up the box it's got some guy liner there in blue which is I think supposed to be glowy represent glowy eyes but just looks like guy liner alright it could have been better but it's so difficult to get this bit off so I'm just gonna leave it here if you look at this hand the left hand supposed to have this glowy bit right or the sonic powers or whatever it is tele telekinetic telepathic whatever and this left hand which is actually more spread out doesn't have it so yeah don't know why that's the one that should have it, really. Surely. Just a mistake, Joy Toy. What are you doing? 
Anyway, uh, right hand here and one trigger one. So let's get it back together and get him in a little pose with a sword. Limited posing. Uh, you really have to push your imagination into any sort of dynamic posing. Oh, so the arm just came off. A little bit more work and patience is really required for this figure. So be prepared if it is something that interests you. There you go. There, you can just keep him like that forever. Comparisons. Here we've got Blood Angels Death Company. Brilliant, brilliant figures. Can't see why they couldn't just make it like this, but just add on those other bits, make it a bit bigger. Who knows? But great figures. Really shows up this guy by comparison. Jazz Wears Wicked Cool Toys Master Chief shows up this guy. Fraction of the price as well. It's Papalotl. Pricey figure, but great. And here, Crouching Alien. So he does tower all over all of these guys. And here's a little skelly from Boss Fight Studio, just because. Final thoughts. I really wanted to do this video differently to my others, just so that you can see the difficulty I'm having with it. It's a nice looking figure and really it's not worth the price but if you're looking for if you really like the look and design and just gonna keep him in one pose then it might be worth your while but I think it's definitely overpriced and not worth the price of admission. I like to pose and play about with my figures and this is definitely not one you can do that with so I really can't recommend this in fact it's made me realize I'm not going to get any of those other 40k figures the single releases anyway so let me know what you think have you got this figure already are you thinking of buying him comment below like subscribe and I'll scale you later